Hello and welcome back. So let's test to see if we can actually submit. Now, in order to do things better, we, if we go to uh, the single class controller here, currently the way things are, if we submit, it's going to go through the index here. And that's because we, this ID we've added here is not a function. So instead, I want us to redirect everything through a separate function so that we don't disturb the index function here. So let me cancel this. I want this to lead to single underscore class slash and then some function here, maybe test add and then uh, the ID. So what I will do is copy one of the existing functions here. Let me look for maybe student add. Anything with add is okay. So let me copy this. It ends where the other one starts. So I'll copy this. It can be student add, lecturer add, no worries, and paste it at the very end. Okay. So let's change a few things. First of all, it's not student add, it should be test add. Okay. Everything else remains the same. We still need to read from our class. That's okay. Uh, this is okay. Then the tab should be test add as well. And this is not the model we are supposed to get. This should be the tests model. Stud. Since we're not getting the student model, we should forget about that. But let's leave it for now. It's just a reference, so it's okay. This part here only works once we submit something up to here. So we can ignore that for now. Everything else looks pretty awesome. So I'll refresh the page and now I will click here. Oh, I need to change the link here as well to add the, the new function we've created, which is test add. So I'll copy that. So we change this from the, not here, the class tab tests ink. So right here where it says add, I'll add test add slash so that we use the function. So refresh, click. Okay, good. Now it's different because we are going through a function here. That's not the index. That's better. But let's give this uh, a name as well. So back to the uh, tab test add a view here where we have our input boxes. So I want to get this paste it here so that also we have sticky thing is here. Description. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's give it a name as well, otherwise it won't submit. So description. I wonder why I'm not being prompted for that. Okay, so we have that, so that's all good. And uh, what else? What, do, what else do we need? Hmm. I think we need also to be able to disable a test. So back in the test table, let's add one more column. Just in case um, they don't, the teacher doesn't want the test to be uh, visible anymore, they can disable it. So length one, let's put a default value of zero to signify that at the start, it's not disabled. Let's add an index as well. Cool. Okay, that is good. Now we need to add this to our tests model right here after description uh, we add disabled okay cool what else here so test id will be created user id will be created school id hmm so what else okay the class id will be given okay so we are done here back to single class dot php in the test add here and let's see what happens when we post. So this is for the search. So since we are not searching anything, we delete this part. 
this is selected. We don't need to check whether there is another test with the same name. I think uh, there's no need for that. So let's remove all that. This also down here, we do not need. So delete. So this is all we're left with. And the columns, they are not selected. It is test. So let me change that to test because that's what we have in our input boxes. Okay, let me move all this over. Boom. Okay. So instead of this student name, which is the same here, let's change it to something more representable, representing what we are doing. That's the test class. Okay. So test class and... What about the user ID? User ID will be given by the controller itself. So we don't need this over here. But what we do need is a test. So I will say test. And we also need a description. So description. What else? Uh, class ID, and that's where we'll get it. Disabled, conveniently there. Date, date. Pretty cool. We will here will revert to tests. Yeah. I think we're in business, if I'm not mistaken. Let's come back and give it a spin. Refresh. Let's see. My first test. Hmm. A description for my first test. This is wrong description. Okay, so let's create. Okay, so we've been redirected to the right place. Let's see if we have something in there. Very nice. Look at that. We have the data in the database. And it seems to be correct, except we don't have a description. Ooh, we almost made it there. Hmm? So let's go to the operations, truncate the data. Okay, truncate please. Thank you very much. Okay, so we almost made it. What did we miss? So we did give it the, dis oh, look at that, descript. What kind of spelling is this? Ah, look at there. Description. Okay, so that was my bad. Let's add again. Let's see, my first test. A description for my first test. Look at that, I'm still making mistakes even here. Create, back here. Is it time to celebrate? Let's check it out. Oh, goody. So everything is working fine here. That is nice. Now we just need to display the tests. I'll see you in the next video.